we're given the position vectors of A and B. Position vector means the vector from the origin to that point. So the position vector of A, so OA, would then be equal to, in column notation, 3 minus 7. So for column notation, you put the I components in the first place, and then you put the J components just beneath it. And then for vector B, the position vector of B, this will be equal to 8, 3. So I prefer to use column notation. I find it easier to manipulate the vectors and write down. For part A, we're trying to work out what the vector AB is. So for this, I'm going to draw out a diagram. So this is not to scale. Let's just consider two points, A and then B. And then I'm going to draw the origin in some random place as well. So here is the origin. And then so the vector OA is this one, and the vector OB is this. So then this vector here would be 3 minus 7, and then this vector here would be 8, 3. We're trying to work out AB, so that is the vector connecting A directly to B. So we're trying to work out what this is. So we can do that by going along this path from A to O and then from O to B. So I can rewrite A to B as A to O plus O to B. And notice how when you're doing this method, the letters either side of the plus sign should be the same. So A to O is the negative of O to A. So this is the same thing then as minus OA plus OB. So that is then minus O to A is minus 3, 7. And then plus O to B, which is 8, 3. So this will end up being, if you add these two components, add these two components. In the I direction, we have 5. And in the j direction, we have 10. So that's part A done. We found the vector AB. Now for the magnitude of AB, so that's part B. To find the magnitude of a vector, we have to use Pythagoras' theorem. So if I actually just draw out the vector AB. So the vector AB is 5 in the i direction, so 5 towards the right. So i direction is in the positive x direction. And then 10 in the positive y direction which is the j direction. So using Pythagoras' theorem, we can work out what this would be. So this is the vector AB. So then AB is going to be equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 10 squared. And that will just be 5 root 5. So in general, whenever we're trying to find the magnitude of a vector, we can square the individual components of that vector. So 5, 10, 5, 10, square them add them up, and then square root the result, and you end up with the magnitude.